Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be installing two cheap tank pads and grips from eBay. If you're just interested in the results, skip to about minute eight and a half. If not, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back. Day number 218 in lockdown. Hope the audio is okay. Today what I thought I'd do is give both these a bit of a Bit of a touch up, you can see they haven't been ridden recently, so they're all quite dirty. Um, and then I'll show, I bought a new tank pad for this one, and I'll throw that on and show you how to do that. So you can see the main point of this is to improve this a little bit. Okay. So first thing, let's give the bikes a clean. Okay, so I know there's a lot of products out there that can do this for you, but realistically all I usually work use is, um, all I usually use is some washing up liquid and warm water and a hose. So the important part is pre-wet your bike. Unfortunately, my audio recorder stopped working at this point. I was saying some really interesting stuff, but instead I'll just let you watch me wash my bikes. Okay, so some washed. Now, with them not being in direct sunlight, I should be able to leave them um, just dry naturally. If not, just get a chamois and give them a quick wipe. Now, I've got a couple of things here that I want to do. So, I've got a new tank pad for the VFR, and then I've got side sticky pads for the CBR because I found when I was at the track, when I lean over, I could feel my knees slipping a bit. So, I've got knee supports here. So, let's just go through, see how we stick these on. Not entirely sure how I'm going to do this, to be honest. So, I'll go see what cleaning agents I have. Okay, so I've got a few cleaners here. I've actually got um, brakes and park cleaner, some WD-40, which isn't really a cleaner, but we'll see what happens with that. And an engine degreaser. So I think I'll start with the engine degreaser because it says it's safe on all surfaces. So we'll give this a go. The pad is long overdue to be replaced, so I'm just going to start peeling and hopefully it comes off quite easily. Fortunately, this isn't the sticky part coming off this.
Okay, so chemicals and scratching didn't work, so I got the hairdryer out. And it seems to work really well. It just melts the glue underneath and you can just peel off the adhesive from the top. Now you just place the sticker where you want it and then carefully remove the backing plastic, make sure everything looks square and then rub down the edges. I'm installing the knee grips on my CBR now. They're quite easy to install. They're not actually glued on, they're just a very adhesive or sticky rubber. So you can just slap them on and they actually stick automatically. Uh, I've gone for a couple of rides with them since and I'm really impressed with how much grip they actually offer. Uh, so I'll put a link to that down below. And as you can see, we've finished both bikes. They both look amazing. Uh, really happy with how these turned out and uh, I'll come back and give you an update in a week or two. So here we are a week later. You can see the cheap tank protectors really have not stood the weather. They've all peeled, they're coming loose. Um, would strongly recommend not buying this product. Um, again, I'll put a link down below just so you know what not to buy. Uh, I'd strongly recommend just going out and buying a high quality product from your local bike shop instead of this. Okay, thanks everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you again next time.